Hey guys, welcome to my channel, All Things Music 77X. I'm Jeremy Hawes, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to use an iRig 2, which is a portable guitar interface made by IK Multimedia. And um, I will show you how to use that with your garage band that comes free with your iPad and how to use the amp sims that come with that also. Uh, so uh, stick around, let's get started. Ow! All right, guys, go ahead and click on your garage band icon here. All right. Worry about that. All right, so we're going to first start off over here with your that guitar plug icon. Go ahead and click on that. All right, so this is your uh, let me click this on. This is your uh, input level for your guitar or whatever you're using at the time. And um, you know, input levels like uh, when you're you strum your guitar, it's going to look different on mine than yours because I've got a bunch of other programs going on to record this video. So I uh, just know it'll. it'll react to yours like I'm telling you it will, not like you're seeing on mine. Like this, like uh, when you plug in your guitar and you strum, it's gonna go way up in the yellows or reds. Hey! You know, wait, 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 hold on. Okay, see what I'm saying? Fuck me. All right guys, so here's the front page. We're gonna first start off with, uh, over here on the left, go ahead and click on that icon right there, the guitar plug and cable. And uh, here's your, uh, this is your input level, okay? And uh, for your guitar, whatever you're using, and um, so you don't, you know, turn it up or down to go in the reds or, or take it out of the reds and keep it, you know, whatever. It's going to look different on mine when I'm talking because it's picking up everything because I'm actually recording uh, using a different program to record the video for this in the screen record. So it's going to look a little different on mine, uh, react a little different than it will on yours, and that's okay. Just n understand that. So, but uh, it's just really easier if you're trying to lay down a track real quick and not forget something to just go ahead and hit this uh, automatic and it will do it for you. You know, it'll keep it right in the middle for you. Okay, so next is this inner app audio. And I'll explain all this on other videos, how to use this more in depth, but this real quick, I'll go over. This is just your effects, uh, like your third party effects that you bought on your iPad or iPhone and like, uh, Fender or whatever, and uh, and you can actually go here and, and turn these on and off and stuff like that. Same with the instrument, you know, the instrument one. Anyways, I don't use many. I don't actually don't use any of those. I uh, they're just uh, I, the Garage Bands. The 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 plugins that come with the Garage Bands, uh, iPad, iPhone, and the iMac, are unbelievably awesome. And they've got a gazillion of them. So don't worry about you don't have to really worry unless you like a certain. Um, you know, amp sim that they don't have, and they take all third-party plugins, and uh, and they take free plugins. It's pretty sick. Anyways, uh, so here's your monitor. This is for your headphones or your your headphones or your uh, monitor speakers. Okay, and you can turn that on. I'm gonna keep it off because it'll feedback right now. Um, so and here's your noise gate. So if you know what a noise gate is, I'll explain that later. But so anyways, okay, we're done there. Go ahead and click off that. And here you can click bass or guitar if you didn't pick it the right one at the front of the, with the other, you know, when we started this. Anyways, next is, oh, this is your guitar tuner. Um, and so it comes with a chromatic tuner. And it's really tight. It's really close. It's a great tuner. And I love, I've used it all the time. So there you go with that. All right, yeah. guys. So this is uh, your amp heads. Um, you can just really quick swipe left or right to just get to an amp head that you like real quick instead of going up here. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, So let's swipe left real quick. Or right, I should say, but you're swiping left to get right. <laughs> Anyways, and here, so you see this is basically a rectifier. It sounds like it, it looks like it. Um, and then you could just swipe left again. And it, see? And there, you got everything. And there's your orange. Uh, it, it's pretty sick. There's got a gazillion different amp heads but th and you can do it this way or you can go up here this is this is a better way i think because you get a fine tune the sound you want and and uh click on that guy and this will bring you to all the different your different clean crunch and distortion and pro uh, process sounds now you can go through and pick something you really enjoy like i enjoy using uh, uh metal modern metal here and of course it, uh, and so it'll pick the amp that's close to it and then you can fine tune it here and then uh, next, we're going to go up here, and we are going to click on the stomp boxes. And there you go. There's your stomp boxes. Now, it's already got a high drive, treble boost, um, all this stuff. Uh, and it's got a, a vintage drive, too. And they also, you can just click on this, or you can get rid of them by just swiping them up like this. It's, it's going to change the sound, too, because th that was the sound it came with with that. Uh, they put different pedals to uh, different amp heads to get that this modern metal sound or different sounds. So click on this, and you, you have all these to choose from. And you can actually buy and order more stomp boxes if you want, I believe. Um, you just got to uh, purchase the 
the extra stuff on GarageBand. I believe they have that on this. If not, you just upgrade to Logic Pro. They work together. Logic Pro is sick. It's one of my favorite recording DAWs ever. And um, and and they they are part of the same program. They just it's just GarageBand does everything you need. It's one of the, my favorite recording DAWs. And uh, but if you need like those extra gazillion tracks and extra gazillion plugins, then you can upgrade to Logic Pro, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, like here's your here's your oops, here's your wah. I love this thing, man. Yeah, pretty sick. Anyways, so there you go. And um. Let's go back here. All right, cool. So the, basically, I just showed you how to use the amp sim. Um, I, I and um, basically, you do this with bass also, and you got all these different bass. See, classic stuff. Anyways, and there's a lot more. But uh, uh, yeah, so uh, so if you're using the iRig two, which is a guitar a portable guitar interface, um, you can use that and and travel with your iPad and iPhone anywhere and record. Anywhere. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you want to learn more about iRig products or IK Multimedia products, um, or anything to do with music, um, from performing to playing to uh, publishing your music, uh, recording it, publishing it, and getting paid for it, copywriting, all that stuff, um, please just check out my channel, All Things Music 77X. And um, if you enjoy any of the music you hear throughout the videos, that's all me. I, that's my music. Uh, check out my music channel if you want to hear some more stuff at, uh, at Jeremy Hawes. Um, I've got some music videos there and stuff like that, um, or you can check it out on any, uh, you can look at my name on any mu uh, music platform. So, uh, also, if you want to learn more just about GarageBand, um, it, you know, how to use it with your iPad, iPhone, or iMac, um, just check out my other channel, All Things GarageBand. I'll see you guys on the flip side, don't do anything I wouldn't do. It leaves it wide open. Yeah. Hey.